selection coefficient is one of the important parameters in the field of population genetics. Selection coefficient is a population genetical parameter which denotes the measure of differences in the relative fitness of different alleles or genotypes. In fact, it is a measure of the relative strength of selection acting against a genotype. Here W which is which denotes fitness is equal to 1 minus yes and yes is small s that stands for selection coefficient. So W indicates the fitness of a specific genotypes or alleles and yes indicates the deleterious nature or deleterious effect of a particular genotype or alleles. So if this W and this can be indicated there is an equation W is equal to 1 minus yes or you can say yes is equal to 1 minus W. So if W is suppose 1 in that case the selection coefficient will be 0 and uh, if yes value is 1 that is there is total uh, deleterious or lethal effect of a particular genotype that will lead uh, in complete mortality of uh, the individuals carrying such genotype. So if this yes value is 1, if it is showing its complete deleterious effect, in that case this W will be 0. So here this W indicates the fitness of a genotype or LA and uh, yes indicates the selection coefficient and once again it is written here that if W is equal to 1 then selection coefficient will be 0 and if selection coefficient is 1 then fitness will be 0. This entire event can be uh, understood by considering this example and some of the other examples are also shown in this presentation. Suppose uh, there are three different kinds of plants in the population. Uh, red flowered plants, then plants having pink flowers, pl plants having white flowers. These are three different kinds of plants in the population. You can say that uh, genotypically they are AA types, then uh, those which are pink flowered they are AA1 types and uh, white flowered plants they are A1A1 types. So genotype could also be known if the phenotype of plants is there because uh, when a red flowered plant with genotype capital AA if they are crossed with white flower plants with genotype A1A1 then they produce pink flowers so it's a case of intermediate dominance that is the uh, intermediate one possesses alleles of both types means uh, red as well as white. Now <clears throat> that is why in the population you have three different kinds of individuals. So you have suppose collected uh, the number of individuals present in a, a specific generation suppose here generation 0 is there the number of red flower plants they are 28 those which are pink flowered they are 15 number and those with white flowers they are 22 in number the total comes 100 hardy wind work uh, equilibrium frequency can also be indicated as p square for one of the homozygotes 2 pq for heterozygotes and q square for other you know homozygous plants like for white flower plant we consider this to be q, q square now in next generation that is in a specific generation you have counted the number of individuals so what you are observing here that the maximum number is of heterozygotes followed by those plants which are red flowered and then the minimum number comes of the plants which have white flowers but when these flowers are grown again in the next generation you find that is here generation 1 
you find the red flowers plant uh, in the number 20 then heterozygotes they are 60 and again 20 are white flower plants so now you want to know that which genotype or which phenotype is having deleterious effect or you can say more deleterious effect which one is having uh, better fitness or maximum fitness so all such kind of things might be coming in one's mind that uh, which one is having maximum selection which one is having minimum selection uh, who's you know uh, which genotype is providing better survival or better presence of the individuals so these things could be calculated could be computed in further steps but one thing I would like to tell here that luckily you have collected 100 plants in generation 0 and exactly the same number in the next generation. So if same number is there then this calculation the way I have uh, explained calculation here that you can exactly adopt. In case if this number is varying then it would be better to calculate the frequency that is suppose uh, frequency means 28 out of 100 it means the frequency will become 0.28 if the total is more or even less than 100 then this value suppose the value the number of plants of capital AA that value will be divided by its total so by doing that you can find out the frequencies frequency of the individuals of generation 0 exactly the same way you can also calculate the frequency of individuals in generation 1 so by doing this uh, you can then follow the calculation which is given in further steps so uh, in that way you will be able to equalize because you will be doing further calculation on the basis of their frequency but here since the number is same what I have done that uh, in second generation or in next generation you got 20 individuals and before it's uh, uh, means in previous generation you had 28 individuals so what you will do 20 will become numerator and 28 will become denominator so 20 divided by 28 you will get the value 0 0.71 in the next case 60 divided by 50 okay and this value comes 1.2 here 20 divided by 22 this value comes 0.91 so what you have done you have simply divided the numbers of individuals with their respective number which was present in the previous generation and you got these figures like 0 0.71 1.2 and 0.91 now these figures are actually absolute fitness that is indicated by lambda so this lambda indicates the absolute fitness now but you have to calculate relative fitness because relative fitness is indicated by capital W so what you will be doing here you will have to see that which value is largest one and in these three the largest value is 1.2 so this 1.2 will be used as denominator that is you will use this value to divide all the three so 0 0.71 it will be divided by 1.2 and this value comes 0 0.59 in the next case 1.2 will be divided by 1.2 this value comes 1 in the third 0 0.91 will be divided by 1.2 and this value comes 0.758 so the relative fitness of these three genotype is now known you can say the maximum fitness is of heterozygotes that is that is 1 so w means 1 value is the maximum value and uh, you can say 100% fitness is of heterozygotes followed by those which uh, are having white flowers or whose genotype is A1A1 A1 because this value comes 0 0.758 so this is the second you know largest value and the third value is 0 0.595 this is minimum if you compare these three 
so those which have red flowers are whose genotype is capital AA their value is 0.595 there you know fitness is less in comparison to these two and this way you have calculated the W values and you know that uh, 1 minus 1 minus this W value the value which you have obtained as relative fitness if you subtract this value from 1 then you will get the selection coefficient because selection coefficient it is uh, yes is equal to 1 minus W so 1 minus these values will give you the selection coefficient of a respective uh, genotype so 1 minus 0.595 it comes 0 0.405 then 1 minus 1 this comes 0 and in the third case 1 minus 0 0.758 it comes 0 0.242 so selection coefficient values are now given in the lower you know rows and uh, here the uh, selection coefficient is 0 for heterozygotes then uh, the selection coefficient is 0.242 for A1 A1 types but maximum selection coefficient or maximum deleterious effect uh, is of AA types those plants which have red flowers that value is 0 0.405 so by this way you can calculate the selection coefficient values here another example is given example 2 now two types of plants are there tall and short it is just like the Mendelian Lab segregation pattern where tall plants, uh, you know, uh, Pisum sativum that is garden pea, tall and short plants were observed. But you can consider that there could be plants where tall and short types are there, those which are tall, they are dominant, short one, uh, they are uh, recessive types. Now, in this case, the tall plants they are homozygous capital AA or they could be heterozygous short plants they are denoted by their genotype is small a small a now uh, Hardy-Winberg equilibrium if you see the P square and 2 P Q both will indicate for tall plants and Q square it will include the short one now generation 0 means in one generation you observe 75 plants having tall phenotype and those which were short they were 25 in number now total comes 100 in the next generation you got 84 plants which were tall in their phenotype and 16 were short this number comes 100 uh, here also I have taken equal number of individuals for generation 0 and 1 to make the calculation easy what you have to do you have to uh, consider the next generation individuals as numerator and that number will be divided by its previous uh, you know generation individuals so 84 divided by 75 the value comes 1.12 then in the next case 16 it will be divided by 25 this value comes 0 0.64 now these two values are absolute fitness that is lambda 1.12 and 0.64 now you have to find out the relative fitness for relative fitness as I told you you have to see that which value is the highest one so in these two the highest value is 1.12 so this 1.12 this value divided by the same value this uh, product will be 1 it means the maximum a relative fitness of uh, the tall plant that is maximum that is 1 and uh, the short plants they have their relative fitness 0.57 because by dividing 0 0.64 uh, with 1.12 you get this value 0.57 and to calculate selection coefficient that is a small yes value 1 minus 1 that is 1 minus this w value it gives 0 so selection coefficient of uh, tall plant is 0 means they have maximum you know selection or maximum survival followed by the short one whose yes value comes 0.43 so 1 minus 0.57 that comes 0.43 so this way selection coefficient for such kind of cases 
where only two types or two phenotypes are available uh, can also be computed.